Look, fellas, there's only one way to truly get girls. And if you're not careful, you can end up wasting all of your prime years chasing girls who don't even care about you because they're off chasing other men. And if you're not getting chased right now, then I hate to break it to you, but you've got some work to do, okay? Because girls do chase. They do chase. It is something that they do do. They're just not chasing you, bro. And uh, believe me, I've been there, okay? I often think to myself, you know, how much further ahead would I be if I hadn't have wasted so much time and energy and mental bandwidth chasing girls? So in this video, I'm gonna give you the exact strategy to actually get girls. I will share some personal lessons of some things I've learned along the way. And I'll give you some step-by-step -step rules to follow, which will help you navigate dating whilst you're on the come up, all right? Also, I do wanna just say a disclaimer as well. This video is probably gonna ruffle some feathers. So if you're a snowflake and you get offended easily, this is probably not a good video for you to watch, okay? Uh, first of all, I'm just gonna have a sip of coffee, mustache coffee, and then we get into it. Okay, so younger James, right? Early 20s, uh, I was seeing this girl and it was not, it was not super serious by any means, but uh, you know, I liked her, okay? And whenever she messaged me, I would always message back straight away. And whenever she wanted to see me, I would always be available to see her, okay? But the other way around, you know, it wasn't the same. She would often, uh, you know, one minute she'd be super friendly and, uh, you know, be messaging me all the time. And next thing I wouldn't hear from her for like 24 hours or whatever. And the final straw was when she just kept canceling plans last, last minute. I was like, you know what, forget this. It was clear to me there and then that I, I liked her a lot more than she liked me. And she was really just using me for attention and stuff like that. So the first rule I've got for you is that they, girls, must like you more than you like them. It never ever works or ends well the other way around. They must like you more than you like them, okay? It never works the other way around, okay? So I know a lot of guys right now who they're with a girl and the girl really doesn't care about them that much. They just, they don't have any better options right now. They would rather just, you know, they don't wanna be alone. And instead they would rather just fill this time just with some guy. So, you know, they get some dinners, maybe they get, uh, you know, uh, they get the bills paid or, you know, they just go out for dinners and they just have someone to cuddle all night just so they're not alone. But they don't really care about this guy. This guy is just filling a placeholder before they actually get a guy that they really want. There's so many guys in that situation right now. So if you're in that situation where you think, oh God, I actually, uh, you know, um, I might be in a situation where I like my girl more than she likes me, then which, oh, actually, another point, I just want to touch on this. I know some of you are going to be saying, oh, James, it doesn't work like that. It's equal. It's never equal. It is never, ever, ever equal. The fact that you think it's equal shows how unequal it is. It is never equal. Either she likes you more than you like her, or you like her more than she likes you. End of discussion, okay? So if you're in that situation, you've got two options, okay? The first option is the fast option but it hurts and that is, it's gonna hurt, but you've just gotta end it. Just end it, end it fast. If it's gonna end, hi. <laughs> if it's gonna end, it's better to end it now rather than later. You know, if you're gonna, if it's gonna end, it's better for it to end sooner rather than later. Okay, and it's a bit like ripping off a plaster. Better off to just rip it off fast. It's gonna hurt, you're gonna be upset, but at least, you know, just get it over and done with, okay? That's the first option. Second option, this is gonna require more hard work, to be honest, and a little bit of skill. The second option is to build yourself. It's to level up fast, okay? You need to level up ASAP. And how can you do that? Well, the first thing you can do is get in the gym. If you're out of shape or you're fat right now, why? What are you doing, man? It's so easy to get in shape. It's such low hanging fruit. Every single man should have a six pack. Now I'm not saying you need to be jacked. I'm not saying you need to have massive muscles, right? But 
every man should have a six pack, bare minimum, minimum a six pack. Like, come on, like <laughs> it's low hanging fruit. It's super easy. By the way, if you want any help with this, I do coaching, hit the link in the description down below. I can get you in six shape as fast as possible. Okay, so first of all, hit the gym, get a six pack. What else can you do? Money, obviously, get your money right. If you 10X your income right now, just imagine this year, you 10X your income. Do you think your girl is gonna be more into you or less into you? Even if she's not materialistic at all, even if you know she's just happy with a pot noodle and a Snickers bar and she doesn't care about money, I guarantee she's gonna be more into you if you're making 10X more money next year than you are this year, okay? Guaranteed. Why? Because you can do more fun stuff, because things are just gonna be more enjoyable. It's gonna be less stressful. You're not gonna be worried about bills, okay? And now you might be thinking, well, James, oh, it's nice for you to say that. How can you do that? Well, most of you are just not in a vehicle which is gonna help you 10X your income. So if you're working a nine to five right now, your job literally starts when you finish your nine to five. That's when your work actually starts because that is the time where you're gonna be able to get out of the situation, all right? So level up your physique, number one. Obviously, get your money right. Another thing is your image, okay? I, go, go shopping, buy some nice clothes, uh, put some, you get, get a haircut, start getting a haircut every week, get a fresh trim, start taking pride in your appearance, view yourself differently. If you start viewing yourself differently, she will start viewing you differently and everyone else will start viewing you differently. So, you know, go to the shopping mall, buy some fresh clothes, actually spend some money on yourself. Like for example, for me, uh, you know, I grew up poor, I didn't have much money. Uh, and then in, within a space of a few weeks, I, may, I went from making like 2K English a month, take home, to like 14, 15K USD a month. Massive jump in the space of a few weeks, okay? And, but when I was making, you know, for a while, I just saved, save, 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 save. Nothing changed. I didn't spend any money. I didn't do anything. I was wearing the same gym clothes all the time. Like I just saved everything. I never spent any money and no one, unless you knew me and knew my situation, would have known about anything because I just save, 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 right? So there's guys out there right now, they're making good money, but they're saving every single penny. Stop being stingy. Stop being stingy. It's one of the least, it's one of the most like biggest turnoffs ever is a stingy man. Spend some money on yourself, invest in yourself. Just see it as an investment. Now, I'm not saying you need to go to the club and start popping bottles, obviously. No, don't do that. You don't need to be buying designer stuff either. Don't be trying to like look rich. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying invest in yourself. Get a fresh trim every week. Take care in your appearance. Maybe use some moisturizer or, you know, actually take, look after yourself you know what i mean because if you start looking after yourself i guarantee things are going to change what else should you do this is a big one massive one say no okay because a lot of you if you're in this situation right now where you like her more than she likes you you're going to be a yes man oh yes baby anything you want baby no problem baby okay baby what do you want to do yes simp Simp, bro, don't do that. Say no. And it doesn't need any explanation. N-O, full stop. That is it, okay? And the first time you do this, <laughs> she's going to be shocked. <laughs> I tell you, she's going to be shocked. And, and there's going to be some conflict for sure. And then she's going to keep testing you more and more and more to see, oh, you know, what's got into him now? Is, is this going to carry on? Or is, is he just like, you know, is he just having a funny mood today? Okay, so learn to say no. You don't have to say yes to everything all the time. Stop trying to please her all the time. It doesn't work, okay? And I'm not saying you need to be, be like, uh, not look after her. Still be a man and take care of her, but you learn to say no, all right? Next thing, start going out with the lads, okay? <laughs> say, no, baby, I'm not going to watch Netflix tonight um, because I'm going to go out with the lads, okay? And if you do this, you get your physique right. Now you got a six pack. Now you're looking in good shape. Now you're earning more money. Now you're taking pride in your image. Now you're learning to say no. And now you're going out with the lads. Do you think she's gonna be more into you or less into you? Obviously, she's gonna be more into you, all right? Okay, and the best way to keep a woman 
in check. The absolutely best way to keep her in check is when she knows that she's replaceable, okay? And now you don't need to, don't go and tell her this, okay? It's too direct and, you know, it's harsh. There's a much better way to do this, okay? And the way you can do this is whenever you go like to a public place together, like a, a restaurant or a shopping mall is the best one. Go to the shopping mall together, okay? You and her, and whenever you're walking around and other girls start checking you out in front of her, you think, you think you're good at clocking when other girls clock you. Your girl is so much better at that. They have superpowers for that stuff. Literally superpowers. They will spot it from a mile off. They will even know what the other girl's thinking, okay? So when a guy looks at a girl, we might think, oh yeah, she's hot. But when your girl catches another girl looking at you, she's gonna be like, he's mine. Stay away from him, in the head, okay? <laughs> Women are extremely emotionally intelligent, far more emotionally intelligent than us. Well, we're extremely stupid in so, on like an emotional scale compared to them. They, they, they pick up on things you know, we're just completely oblivious to. And the problem with this is because they're highly emotional, okay, if you're not careful, the wrong one can manipulate you, okay? Now, I'm not gonna go into manipulation. I'm gonna save that for the next video, which is coming after this one. Okay, so that's rule number one. Another sip of coffee. Rule two. You need to have a mission or a purpose and it needs to be more important than her and everything else. You need to have something you're working towards and ideally this mission or this purpose or this goal is mutually beneficial. So by you achieving this goal, it benefits both of you, okay? And that way, she's gonna be supportive of it. Like for example, uh, I, if I'm with a girl, uh, you know, I'm, she's my girlfriend or whatever, I'm gonna communicate, hey, look, I'm working on this thing, and once it does well, it's gonna benefit us both because of X, Y, and Z, all right? You need to have something you're working towards. If you're just, if you're happy with your lot right now, then good for you, okay? If you've, if you've got to some kind of success and you're like, you know what, I'm good, I don't need to hustle, I don't need to grind anymore, congrats, okay? But if you're comfortable and she's comfortable, that's not a good position to be in, okay? Comfort is the enemy of progress. And there's a, I think there's a fallacy with humans is that we think we can just stay the same. Nothing ever stays the same. We're either progressing, we're either advancing, over retreating. Nothing ever stays the same. So if you're not moving forwards, you're moving backwards. So if you're stuck in this comfort trap, just be careful of that. Don't say I didn't warn you. The other option, the other potential person out there is the guys who are, you know, you know, they're living in the city, they're making above, above average wage, you know, they go on a couple of holidays a year, uh, nine to five, uh, Netflix and a bottle of wine at the weekend, okay? Now, if you're happy with that, if you're happy with that life, then this rule doesn't apply to you, okay? But for me, I, that is the last thing I ever want. I'm just, not, I'm just not wired to be that way. How can I sit on the sofa and watch a film for two hours, getting excited about a fake story when my story has, isn't even complete yet? My real story, my real life has not even started yet. How can I get excited over some fake story when I need to build my own story, you know? So I'm just not wired to be able to sit down and relax and watch a movie yet when there's not a Lambo outside on the drive or, you know, whatever, whatever you care about that. I'm just using that as an example. You know what I mean? So I don't watch Netflix with my girl. Okay, I say, no worries, baby, you can watch Netflix. I'm gonna do work, okay? Um, and that is the only way. If you're in a nine to five and you're not happy with your nine to five, why are you watching Netflix? That time could be so much better spent, okay? If you're happy with that, cool, fine. This, this rule that doesn't apply to you. But for me, that's the last thing I would ever want, okay? So if you do this, guaranteed she will respect you a lot more because now you're a man with purpose. Now you have something you stand for and now you're working towards a greater future for both of you. It provides hope. It gives her something to look forward to. Okay, so and another point on this actually is you should never, ever, ever put her goals before your main objective. 
do not do this. They're going to try and do this, especially what, what happens is you get with a girl, then you get close, maybe she moves in with you, and then she's going to try and mold you and try and change you. And there's going to be things that you do that she doesn't like. And she's going to try and change you. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. Oh, James, I wish you wouldn't do this. James, can you not do that, please? Do not change. You have to be a man, be strong, be rigid, and don't change for her. Don't let her change you. It's, it's, uh, it's death by a thousand cuts. I don't know whether you've ever heard that phrase. It comes from, I think it comes from the financial world with regards to saving money. You know, when you're trying to save money, it's not the big expenses that trip you up because they're obvious. It's all the little small expenses every single day, like your mustache coffee, okay? <laughs> you know, that's what trips you up, apparently. Um, but this works, this analogy is far better for uh, women, okay? Because what happens is you get in a relationship and then you get comfortable and then it just starts small. She starts with the small things. Oh, can you not do this? Can you not do that? I wish you wouldn't do that. You know, it starts with the little small things and progressively it gets worse and worse and worse to the point she's saying, no, you can't go out with the guys. You got to stay home and do the dishes because I did the dishes the night before or some, <laughs> or some, some bullshit like that, right? Okay, so women will spend years changing their man and then wonder what happened to the guy they fell in love with, okay? So do not change for a man, stay rigid, stay a man, stay on your purpose, and never put her goals before yours. Now, I'm not saying you need to be a dick, okay? If she is ill, if, if there's an emergency, she needs to go to hospital, like still be a man, still take care of her, still show her love, but don't put her goals before yours, okay? Sip. <clears throat> rule three okay this one is one i've learned recently in the past couple of years past few years actually okay so um what's been happening over the past few years is uh, you know girls have messaged me late at night like uh this has happened more than 10 times right girl messaged me like 9 p.m hey what you up to and she obviously just wants to see me okay so ah, oh, not much girl comes over and she's all dressed up okay she's in the heels she's in the dress she's uh you know all the lipstick everything she's she's looking amazing i'm like oh where have you been oh uh i've just been out with friends okay and i was like oh okay cool sounds legit but then this kept happening with not just the same girl with, with different girls i'm like hang on a minute are they really just out with girls all the time and then you know one girl actually just told me i was like oh i was on a date with this guy i didn't like him i'd rather just see you instead <laughs> so i was like what hang on a minute you just went on a date with a guy he spent money he he bought you the drinks he paid for the food he dropped you off home and then you said good night and he's driven home thinking oh yeah i think that went well and maybe uh you know, maybe I'll message her tomorrow. And then you've gone and messaged me before you've even got home, you've set it up, you've messaged me, and then you plan to get dropped off home and then come to my place. <laughs> I swear to God, this happens, not just with me. I know other guys, my mates as well, who are in a similar position to me. Girls do this shit, seriously. And, it, and me in my younger years, pro I was probably on the other end of this. I'm sure this has happened to me many times where I've taken a girl out uh, on a date and she's ended up uh, banging some other dude afterwards. It must have happened. This has happened so many times to me that I find it hard to believe that it's not happened to me the other way around, okay? Probably not now, but certainly later on, okay? So rule number three is that women have different rules for different men, okay? They have different rules for different men. They, women will make rules for alphas and break rules for betas. Have you ever heard of, um, uh, when a girl says, oh, uh, I, don't, I don't have sex on the first date. <laughs> I swear to God, if I had a pound for every time I heard that, I would have a few quid at this point for sure, okay? It is absolute BS, BS. If a girl says, you know, especially if you, if you meet a girl, right, and she's a baddie, you know, she's got the fake boobs, she's got the fake lips, maybe she's got some tattoos, you know, and she says, oh, you know, I don't, I don't put out on the first date. You know what I say? I just call out BS. I'm like, no way, 
no way. It's better to just call it out and say, you know, say I don't believe you and make a joke about it because some guys will actually fall for that stuff. Now, I'm not saying every girl who says that is a liar. Some girls, I'm sure they've got the principles and stuff like that. There's exceptions to the rule, like with all of this, okay? So just be careful. If a girl says, I don't normally do this, <laughs> I don't normally do this. That means she does it all the time, okay? I don't normally do this means she does it all the time, okay? So just be wary of that one, especially if, you know, first day and she starts saying, oh, I don't normally do this. It, it's also BS as well, right? Okay, that's rule number three. Rule number four is to be a leader, be a man, make the decisions. You decide where and when you meet. You decide what you're doing. You lead her, okay? You make it easy for her to be feminine by being masculine. She cannot be feminine and she's not going to do her feminine duties if you're not being a man and doing your masculine duties, okay? By you being a man and by you leading and by you making her feel safe and taking control, take care of the bills, take control of the situation. If there's a problem, take control of it, deal with it. Don't even involve her in it. If, you, if there's a problem, you know, in your i don't know environment or whatever you know and you can handle it without even letting her know without her even worrying about it perfect just do that don't even get her involved just take care of the problems and just make her life as easy as possible and if you do that she will then reciprocate and make your life as easy as possible okay but if you're not being a man she's going to feel like she has to be more of a man right and then it's just going to be like conflicting and uh, it's, it's, just, it's just not gonna work very well, okay? Um, what else, okay? I honestly believe men and women can have a symbiotic relationship, okay? So if we go back to the default state, how men, and, how men and women were supposed to be, like before this whole woke agenda with femini feminism and you know all this nonsense that's going on in the world right now, and we go back, a hundred years or whatever, not even that long ago, to how men and women were naturally were for thousands of years. And you see this in the wild with other animals. Other animals, there's, there's, there's the male and female, you know, social dynamic, okay? If we can go back to that and you be a man and you lead and then she will follow, okay? And if you do that, I honestly believe that men and women can have this, you know, symbiotic relationship where together you are much greater than the sum of your parts, if that makes sense, okay? So at this point, you're probably wondering, James, okay, but how do I actually get girls? You said there's only one way to get girls. Well, I'm gonna give you the answer right now. And the best way I can describe this is with an analogy, okay? So with an analogy of bees and flowers, okay? So if you're not familiar with how bees and flowers interact with each other, you've got flowers, they're in the ground, they're nice and bright and shiny or whatever and they smell nice and the bees come along and they land on the flower and they take the pollen and the nectar and then they fly to the next flower and they fly around and this actually helps the flower out because it's uh, pollination it's how they breed or whatever okay and then the, it, this helps the bee out as well because the bee takes that pollen and nectar and goes back and makes honey with it okay so it's a great relationship bees and honey uh, bees and honey bees and flowers are the same okay you are a flower, girls are bees. They can fly around, they can do whatever, you're stuck in the ground, okay? You're planted in the ground, you can't move. So chasing, chasing doesn't work, okay? Chasing is futile, it doesn't work. You cannot chase girls, stop chasing girls. You must attract the bees. You cannot chase the bees, you cannot catch the bees because you're a flower, you must attract the bees. Well, how does a flower attract bees? Uh, well, first of all, it's nice and bright colored and it smells nice and I'm sure there's some chemicals going on or something as well to attract the bee. So all you need to do, the simplest way to get girls is to become the best possible version of you. And, you know, on my last video, one of my last videos, people commented, oh, getting jacked only changes your life if you're short. Bullshit. That is the biggest cope I've ever heard. Like getting jacked only helps if you're, if you're tall. Come on, man. 
Come on. The rules are the same. Whether you're short or tall, you still need to get jacked. You still need to get rich. You still need to have style. You still need to have how to take care of those around you. You still need to be an interesting person, regardless of whether you're short or tall or big or fat. And even if you're ugly, even if you're ugly, I would rather be ugly and jacked and scary than ugly and fat and weak. Okay. So regardless of who you are, I don't care. You've got to become the best possible version of you. And the, the quickest way to do that is to get in the gym and develop yourself. Because once you start seeing progress in the gym, that will give you some momentum, which you can then translate into your side hustle or your business or, you know, your relationships or, you know, whatever other area of your life that you want to improve. Okay. And if you do this, if you do everything that, uh, you know, that I've outlined in this, you will have far, far, far more options than you ever know what to do with. And now you, you might be wondering, oh, oh, but James, doesn't the man need to make the first move? Look, what happens is, is when you get to a certain point where you develop yourself and you do everything that I've just talked talking about, girls will make it extremely easy for you to make the first move. They will literally trip over in front of you and be like, hi, you know, like they'll make it extremely easy. You won't have to go out of your way. Don't be like looking at some of these guys online who are saying, hey, this is how you pick up girls. And literally there's nothing gayer than guys going out specifically to try and pick up girls. It's so gay. If you're at the supermarket or if you're doing something and you happen to see a nice girl, uh, you know, whilst you're already doing something else, sure, take a minute to go and, uh, you know, speak to her or whatever, you know, take, take, take a minute, say, hey, uh, you look great. Nice to meet you. My name's, uh, my name's James. What's your name? Get her Instagram. If she's interested, she's interested. If not, if not, but don't make it a big part of your life to chase girls because it doesn't work. The only way you get girls is by attracting. And that starts with developing yourself. That starts with becoming the best possible version you can do. And if you do this and you do this right, I promise you, you will have far more options and far better options than you have right now. You think you got access to good girls right now. Believe me, it will get so much better once you start developing yourself because girls, they only date up. Okay. So look, look, rate yourself right now. Be honest with yourself out of 10. What number would you give yourself? 10 being the absolutely pinnacle, most desirable man on the planet and zero being the least desirable man on the planet. Where would you put yourself on that scale? If you, if you give yourself a six right now, then that means you only have access to fives and below. Okay. So rather than wasting time trying to chase, which is not going to work anyway, they're just going to end up using for your attention. Like what happened with me, right? Instead of doing that, that time and that energy channel it, channel it into you, channel it into getting better. And you'll be amazed. You, you, you'll be, you'll, you'll surprise yourself with how many options you have and how easy dating actually becomes. All right, guys, uh, I hope this helps. Um, this is, I probably ruffled some feathers with this one. If you got offended by anything I said, I just want you to know that this is just my opinion. Uh, you know, from 31 years on this planet, will I always think this way? Who knows? Maybe in 10 years time, uh, I will think differently, but hopefully me and you are still around then and we can check in and have another chat about this stuff. But this is genuine genuine advice that I wish I could have given my younger self because it would have wait, it would have saved me so much time and energy and you know maybe I'll be much further ahead right now if I hadn't have uh, you know wasted uh, so much time so guys I hope it helps if you need some help with getting in shape that is step number one uh, go in the link in the description down below I do coaching click on the link uh, you know if it makes sense and if we're a good fit we can work together and get you in good shape as fast as humanly possible. I am going to enjoy another beautiful day in Bali and I'll see you in the next one.